Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all saw that, which I'm gonna make sure of, so I don't know why I said that. Um, I jumped down. Up, up there. Sorry, I'm scratching my nose because it's really warm and it's causing my nose to itch, which happens, don't question it. That is where we came in and I jumped over that in the first place. I jumped down here and it caused me to actually land such that I stumbled, which is a very neat trick. Uh, it's a neat addition to the game. You know, a little uh, sousson of atmosphere, which I think was cool. Um, and now I'm down here killing even more baddies. I did notice that there were actually several objectives, which probably you were all telling me on the previous episode in the comments, but um, I was focused on one of them, which is probably actually the last one that we're going to be able to deal with. Also, what I'm going to do here is change to my assault rifle, which apparently was just straight up on Q, so I didn't need to use the wheel. Um, you will remember that in the previous episode, I was going to save up my... There you are. Um, weapon tokens for just upgrading one weapon a lot. But since then, we actually got the tactical upgrade to the assault rifle, which I then have gone ahead and upgraded with one point. It's going to be fun, by the way, so I'm going to keep talking while I do this, because it's going to be hard. Um, I spent one point on upgrading it with uranium bullets, such that now, if I'm zoomed in, I... Oh... Uh, this is actually not killing me nearly as fast as I was expecting it to. Uh, I upgraded it with a, a bullet. Uranium bullets that causes it to penetrate a target if I... Uh, I'm zoomed in when I fire it. There was also an option to do more damage with a headshot, but currently I'm not really meeting anything that doesn't basically die from headshots anyway. Um, excuse me? Have you sent me all the way back to the beginning of this level? You better not have. So, that's a bit shit. I guess I will meet you on the other side. Oh no, we've done that. Um, yeah, I might have to meet you on the other side of this. I mean, we already... Uh, the thing about Doom is that I've noticed that if you achieve something and then die and then get reset back by the checkpoint, you maintain the progress that you made. So although we died, we've gone a long way back, we don't necessarily have to actually go through all that rigmarole again. Do have to press this button again. We do learn that we can't do this again. There's a moth on my screen. I was like, that's going to show up on the recording. That is not how recording works. So that thing goes over there. We've learned that. I don't think there was anything down here that particularly made sense for me to um, go back down for. There's a few plasma bullets, but you notice how that blood trail stops. I have no idea where it ends. Like, you'd think it would go through there. Apparently it doesn't. See if I've still got this. Okay, let me see if I've still got. Yeah, I think so. We do have the tactical soap, the uranium coat, uranium coating. Uh, so that's all fine. I guess I'll just go back and do what I was doing before then. Um, what was I saying? First of all, we have to kill everything down here. But mostly, I was going to jump down here and show you what it looks like. If you fall too far. We don't take any damage. I may have lost some armor for doing that. Actually, I'm not quite sure. Um. Let's go this way. So we get a teleporter. Oh, one of those weird lifts. That was a very interesting lift. That is very UT. I hope they use that a lot in the uh, deathmatch version of this game. Oh wow, that was going to be fun. No, you fall. So fall down here. Hurt yourself. We didn't lose any armor either, so that's great. That's greatly. That's great greatly. That is. I do see armor over there actually. So I guess we're going to go and try and get that. Um. Yeah, I feel okay about the fact that although it reset us back to the start of the level, we don't have to go and get all our objectives again. Let's check that. You can up and down through these objectives. So we need to stop the meltdown, kill all these gore nests, remove the lockdown that is plaguing our steps right now. Try and jump over here. We managed it because we're the best at this game. Obviously. Uh, and... Okay, yeah, fine. So we did get reset back to the... Um, start of the level, but we didn't reset our progress, which is a strange situation, but I'm okay with it. Where'd that guy go? There he is. Um, interestingly, I believe that you, 
the you do get iframes while you're performing your uh, glory kill. That was. Did you just teleport? I'd rather you didn't. Um, but immediately after you stop performing the glory kill, you're vulnerable again. So, I guess the point is, pick your targets. Pick your moment. Carefully. So, as I was saying, I have put some amount of uranium bullets on my zoomy in thing. It only costs one. It cost me one of my only ones, but it only costs one nevertheless. My theory being that there are going to be sufficient situations... Ooh, careful. ...in which uh, enemies are lined up that I'm going to be okay with this. The other thing that I discovered you can do is to get close enough and basically teleport. Um, I was having a little bit of trouble trying to get onto a place. Or at least I wasn't sure if I could jump across fast enough. As it turned out, I didn't need to. Out of ammo! No! It's bad. Uh, because I could just teleport using a glory kill, which is amazing. What are you? Not sure. Oh, Hellraiser. That's new. There was a baddie. Where'd he go? I want this. Appreciate that the plasma gun is somewhat loyal to the original. It has a similar, much less of an irritating sound. I, uh... Oh, that's quite a lot, actually. Oh, actually, I guess one of four demonic nests implies 25% reduction in thingy. And this area is no longer on lockdown, which is nice. Like, you'd think that the whole zone would be on lockdown, but it is not so. I think what we want to do here is use this to try and get some ammo back. That was highly entertaining. All this ammo, and I don't need any of it. Not really using my pistol, although I feel like I should be, because it's actually a pretty decent weapon in and of itself. This um, assault rifle is actually doing a severe amount of damage. Like, I'm not even getting glory kills right now, because I'm doing so much damage to the enemies in the first... Okay, not on the... Uh... That was nice. Not on the actual... Uh... That was one of my... These ones, basically, taking so much damage from these shots. Where did you go? They're just dying straight up. I want to be careful of those engineers because they could easily explode in my face. And not in the way that I normally get engineers to explode in my face. Alright, we're back down here. Okay. Hmm. feel like we should double check this place on the map. See what sort of thing we're going to... Yeah, look. Is that an extra life? It's a collectible anyway. So there's two of those, so we, somehow we have to find them. That one looks like it's on the way out. Oh goodness, how do we get in there? It doesn't look like it's even part of the map. How have you... How have you arranged this? Um, okay. Also, my challenge. I have not succeeded in any of it. I haven't actually found an explosive barrel of any description. So we don't really need to go in there, there's nothing on the radar. Um, I guess we just go back this way. I'm not sure how I feel about this meme where things have like a trapdoor operation. Where you can get out of them easily, but getting in them involves going through all the enemies. Because it seems very cliche. You know? By the way, in my top right, you can see those circles which are slowly filling up. Uh, those circles represent my combat prowess that we were talking about at the start of the episode. That we were learning about at the start of the episode. Uh, as they fill up, I get free weapon upgrades, which is such an arbitrary, uh, such an arbitrary mechanic that I can't help but think that is probably the most arcadey thing I've seen today. Excuse me. I'm trying to glory kill this Joker. That's pretty cool, but it cost me some HP to do it. Here, I have this. Oh, oh, oh! Give me HP. Good. You, HP. You, HP me. Thank you. Uh, we do have some challenges to glory kill these things in interesting ways. And also some challenges to barrel the shit out of them. I haven't found a barrel yet. Stop that. Also the um, 
Chainsaw doesn't appear on here. Is it G? Yes. And Q doesn't actually switch to it, so that's okay. Um, I haven't really found a barrel near the Possessor, let alone one that I can use to kill three of them at once. Take a bit of armor, don't mind that. Chest plate. Not going through there, apparently. So where's our next objective? Compared to us. Up in the sky, somehow. It's making that annoying Hollywood ticking noise that all computers must make. Only when I rotate it. Don't understand why. So over there is a gap. We saw jump it. Hup. Very well. Picked up some ammo. That's fair. Yellow access only. Wondering if maybe going over there is important. Doesn't seem like there's anything in that direction. I assume all that down there is where we already went. We do need the yellow... Mm. So that's a yellow door. That's a blue door. Is there a red door somewhere? This feels very 80s. The li door's literally represented in yellow. There's that one down there that I can't figure out how to get to, but I can only imagine that's the only one left. So it's possible I might have to put a cut in here, because obviously I found one of the objectives, but we didn't actually gain anything out of doing so. Now, you'd think there'd be a key on the map if there was going to be a key in the area. So down there, downstairs, where I originally was, down here, I'm assuming there is no pickup. Because I didn't find one, basically, and it... Ooh. Do it. Bro. You're stronger than this. Nice one. What did I do? That was an interesting sound. I appreciate the sound. But I've done something, and I know not what. Presumably I've opened a section of map that was not open before. But now I have to find it, right? That's interesting. I like that. Don't think I've done something smart. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Are you seeing this? This is so cool. Classic map, nuclear plant. So, uh, fans of the channel will know exactly what this is. Because we've already been here very recently in human time having a play through the original Doom in the first place. Yes. He's done it. I love the uh, traditional pickups and everything. Please let me kill three with one. Did that do it? No. There's definitely explosive barrels around here though. Sweet ass music. Loving it. Can we pick these up? Yes. <laughs> Don't need shotgun shells. Let's, um... The music actually only mutes itself. It doesn't slow down. I mean, it's okay. I don't mind that. This is great. Also, I happen to know there was a secret in this game originally. This, uh... <laughs> uh, in here. No backpack full of ammo for me. That's a shame. Can't go above your max HP even with the things that originally would allow you to go above your max HP. This must be where a collectible is then. Is this the way we came in? Yeah. There's also no, uh, no more difficult. If you know what I mean. It's like... This is exactly what it was like playing it very recently. The, uh, they haven't thrown in a load of extra enemies for no damn reason. There was also a way of opening this. I'm not sure if it still applies. Appreciate the armor though. It's only a bit of it, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. We found one of many secrets, unfortunately. I say unfortunately, it's fortunate we've found one of them. It's unfortunate that there are so many more left to find. Hello. I guess the other thing about this is that you don't actually know what you have and haven't visited. Oh, I forgot about that. Explosive shot, please. Yes. Uh, because in the original Doom, it wouldn't draw lines that you hadn't seen. So we got a weapon upgrade point for our combat prowess up there whilst we're doing all of this. 
Thanks for the uh, music ending. <laughs> Stopped. Um, this doesn't actually look quite as faithful as you might imagine because of the way the textures line up, which is actually quite interesting. It must have been more difficult than you and I could imagine that it would have been for that to be the case. Why are we stuck going forwards? So we didn't manage to kill three possessed with one barrel, alas. I love the uh, original gore down on the ground there. Stay focused, stay committed. So that was a very cool easter egg. I'm glad that you were here to see that with me. Uh, don't need that. Right. Where were we? We were trying to get to any of these damned objectives. That one's stuck behind a yellow door. That one is... Stuck behind a blue door. That one is the only one I can get to, but I don't know how to. So again, I think I'm just going to have to run around and try and figure it out. Well, you don't watch, so I will come back after a cut, which I hope you will forgive me for, because I don't really like putting cuts in, because it means that you miss out on gameplay, but honestly, I have no idea where I'm going right now. Um, so, although, this is new, so I'm not going to put a cut in just yet, because... <laughs> Uh, we haven't seen this yet. You need to stop relying on your shield. Kill it! Kill it! Good. Go we kill it. It's took some damage. Uh, I guess we'll keep playing while we clean this zone out. I charged that thing with my gun. Didn't actually help. Trying to time the glory kill is kind of working. Ooh, checkpoint. Um, which is nice, because it's good to have the idea that you've uh, got the the idea of how much damage these things take, and therefore when they're going to be available for death, basically. Um, it gives you some idea that you're actually slightly more used to the game. You know how much HP things have with certain... Um, weapons in certain situations, please. Now I understand why there was a headshot upgrade. What manner of enemy is this, do you think? Is this the uh, new version of the, the doggy demon? Or is this just some sort of super-powered... Excuse me. Glory kill it, glory kill it! Ah! Shit. <laughs> I did just reach a checkpoint, so I'm not too bothered about reloading this one, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to have to put a cut in because we found found what to do. Almost accidentally. Not quite sure what enemy that was. Um, I really want to glory kill it, though, so... So we make sure this one dies, and then don't get hit by this one on the way fast. A few headshots is probably the way to go here. This may be a completely new uh, enemy. I don't, I'm not trying to imply that it and Bethesda have no uh, abilities for invention <laughs> beyond basically copying the... Uh, that was very satisfying. Hell Knight, okay. Um, beyond copying the original set, but also the, the amount of attention that they put into trying to make this game feel like a modern version of the old game implies that they're going to put a lot of the original game into it intentionally, i.e. Um, they're going to put things that we're familiar with into the... Uh, into the scenes as much as possible. Let's just shoot the stuff his shield out. Can we do that? Does it have... Does it take damage? Or does it block all damage? He smacked the shit out of me with that shield. Our character is extremely weak in specific situations, which I really enjoy. Although it's becoming slightly frustrating um, because 
of the fact that in these situations, it's, it makes sense that you would be that vulnerable. Points to tokens are available. So this is the uh, Hell Knight, which we're going to remember from original Doom, of course. Um, being the boss of the very first chapter, although there were two of them at the time. So our goal here is to just make sure that we um, headshot it properly. Get as much... Ugh. Kind of wondering what happens if you... Um, Managed to hit that Joker with a chainsaw, quite honestly. Let's get that out. Um, I don't know how you pick up more ammo for this thing. It did tell us, but I have forgotten, so suck it. There we go. Make it stumble, apparently. Throw a grenade at it? Yeah, have this. Yeah, that works too. Uh, oh, brilliant. So, what do we want to do here? We have got three, finally. Um, I did discover that the explosive shot actually reloads really slowly. Um, the size of the explosion has not that, been that much useful. I'm not using charged burst. We are using this uh, tactical scope quite a lot. I think we're going to go for the explosive shot, because actually using it is doing as well. It's doing fine. It's just that we can't use it that often because of the reload, much like the grenades themselves. I'm hearing noises, but I don't think they're real. Like, I think they're just designed to put the wind up you. Which is working. <laughs> uh, so, the yellow door was... To the left, to the left. Just... So that's progress. Oh, hello. Another one! I missed. I used my explosive shot, and I missed. Just straight up killed it. Didn't even get an opportunity to glory kill it. I keep reloading and accidentally changing the weapon mod, so you'll have to forgive me while I fumble my way around having played multiple games in quick succession. Tempted to go over there to see if it do anything for us? We did find a secret last time we jumped on one of those things. Only 18 shots in this. He's 17 in that. The plasma rifle, the remarkably, plasma is giving us the most opportunity for uh, actually firing shots recently. Although the shotgun doesn't hold that many, so picking up that might have not been the greatest thing to do. Area sealed by evac team. Samuel Hayden is the chairman of the UAC. Born into the wealthy and powerful, powerful Hayden family, he completed his Masters in Theoretical Physics at Oxford University. Challenge several fields, young age. Prime target that he was recruited him soon. So I'm just going to go with him. I'm going to go with him. Novel Brigham. He dedicated those last few months to finding a radical solution to his mortality in cybernetic transference. So it took him six months, basically, to figure out how to transfer his entire consciousness into a robot, and now he is a robot who is no longer bound to the mortal coil, and therefore no longer really probably concerned with the uh, foibles of being a, a human being, i.e. the fact that you might die, and therefore considers, presumably, human life to be expendable, because anyone who is worthy of, oh, I don't like that, of uh, staying alive would be able to afford to do so using these cybernetic enhancements that he has invented. So you can go fuck yourself with your laser weapon bullshit. I'm pretty glad that you landed on me whilst I was not able to take damage. Not you, you. Good. Looking for any explosive barrel at all to help me with my challenge here. I like that. And... Please die. Very good. Checkpoint. Great. So we're getting our combat prowess off pretty well. I don't know if it will increase a different rate depending on maybe how quickly or efficiently... You, uh, you kill the demons? Oh, hello. There is another one of these in here. Wonder if he counts as an explosive barrel. That'd be interesting to note. I am constantly itching my nose. I really have to apologize. It's probably a little bit disruptive. But whenever I stop moving the camera around, it's because my nose is so... It's not even hay fever, it's just heat. It's literally the heat of this situation. It was the heat of the moment. 
Telling me what my heart meant. Heat of the moment. There in your eyes. Stop attacking me. It's rude. I need some way of. Oh, shit. I need some way of uh, recovering ammo slightly more reliably. This explosive shot is pretty useful. Let's um, get this out. It's good for headshots. There we go. Glory kill that mother trucker. I notice how our extended HP is actually a colour over the top of the original HP. So that's the second one of those done. And a weapon upgrade point for being so good at combat that uh, no one can even touch this. And we've got some more stuff and there's the blue key. Tremendous. I like how the blue key is on the man with the blue <laughs> jacket thingy. Uh, right. There's bound to be more stuff around here that we haven't discovered yet. What is that? Looks like pick up a ball, but I don't need it. Auto map station. Interesting. What does that give us then? So, that will tell us about certain things, like for example, this pick up a ball here, which is an elite guard. How do we get up there? I mean, it's on this level. Let's go around a bit. There's an up and then a corner. We've got the foundry map. Not that. That. Thank you. And then over there somehow. What? Let's check. I want to try and make sure we get as many of these things as we can because not doing so would just be criminal. This is a game of as much exploration as it is... Um, Beating the shit out of things. What are you lot doing? Ooh. So we, we kind of want to do our best to find these. Ah. The fact that it's on the map is super good. I like the fact that they put things on the map, but you still have to figure out how to get there. As opposed to just not putting them on the map. Uh, and having secrets. That are discovered by accident. So we found another Praetor token. Which is probably useful. That's the one that stops us exploding ourselves. This is the one that pulses around secret areas. Which doesn't necessarily mean that it pulses around secrets. I.e. Um, it wouldn't necessarily have told us about that lever that we pulled to get into the Easter egg part. I don't understand what these power-ups are. So maybe we haven't got one yet. When a power-up wears off. When activating a power-up. It could simply be things like um, the Berserk power-up, right? Ooh, switch weapons faster. I don't know if I want anything to be faster. So let's... I've not exploded myself yet. Let's try this. We might as well spend... Money. They all cost two. So at this point, we've saved one. We've saved up for one. So we're going to spend it. And it's going to be the secret one because I want to know what it looks like and how useful it turns out to be. These Hell Knights have turned out not to be nearly as difficult as they were in the original Doom, which is good, because there's a lot of them instead. Um, I, I kind of prefer them as the not rare type of creature that they currently are, but rather just part of Hell's army, as you'd expect. So that looks like something we can actually get back across. So that's not one of those weird gated things. And these, oh, they should do something, but they never do. Did that count? No. Oh, I can't find any explosive barrels, let, yet, let alone be able to kill three possessed with one. I wonder if the... Um, I wonder if all enemies count as possessed, or if it has to be specifically the ones that used to be uh, humans. Please. So we've already found the third one of these, so... I think I'm going to do this one, and maybe we will call it uh, an episode there. And then in the next episode, we'll go and find that last one, which was actually the first one we came across. We couldn't figure out how to do it. Is there a block button? Again, I'm getting confused with all the FPSs I'm playing. Ooh. 
That lagged on my screen. It wasn't you. Um, I know you can block in Fallout 4, but can I block in this one? That's the question. Stop this. Very rude. I saw that. Let's um, use this. Get some damage done and then switch quickly. When we run out of ammo. Ow. Got it, got it, got it. Yes, look at that HP it dropped. Loving it. That's the third gore nest done. Which means this is now open. Perfect. So that was actually uh, this Joker when it shut the hell up. No, no I have not. Is that where we were before? I think so. That's where we first met the Hell Knight. Let's have a look on the map, see if there's anything... Oh, I see. So this is actually the... Oh, no, it's not. My mistake. Uh, there's one down here. There's also some data down there that we've yet to pick up. So we should go and have a look, I guess. Uh, I'll call that episode here. I'll go and pick up that data thing in between. I'll probably record a third one because I'm actually doing pretty well this time rather than screwing everything up all the time like I normally do. Um, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks everyone for watching. Again, quite receptive to any feedback that you may have on these episodes. I'm enjoying the game. I hope you're enjoying the commentary, which is uh, probably a little bit stilted because all I can ever do is go, oh my god, help. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. hope you will drop me a like if you did like it and leave a uh, comment on other people's videos as well to let me know that you've been watching theirs. Uh, and until the next time, I will see you around. Well, maybe not around. <laughs>